my name is Ashley McCoy, and my partners are Anna, Luke, and Ashton, and we did our mechanism analysis project on the folding chair. Abstract. The project goal is to choose a planner for a bar mechanism in a real world and perform position, velocity, and acceleration analysis both graphically and analytically. Stimulation of the mechanism in motion is required to display the behavior of the mechanism. The results of calculation will be tabled into tables and compared. Introduction. A folding chair is the selected four bar mechanism. Folding chairs, chairs were great for quick, quick seating and are storable to save space. The purpose of a folding chair is used for seating where storage and transportation is a factor. Operation um, is easily folded by pulling up on the seat. Application used for events being used in concerts wherever many seats are needed. Range of motion, it goes from 60 degrees to 180. So identification and measurements. So the folding chair is a double rocker uh, mechanism. The open position, the link one, link two, link one is five one eighth inch, link two is two inches, link three is four point five inches, link four is three point five inches, and theta two is sixty degrees. So halfway open position, it's theta two is one twenty, and then closed position, theta two is one eighty. Analysis, position, velocity, and a Acceleration analysis will be done both graphically and analytically. The graphical analysis is done at three key points, uh, three key positions, and analytically anal analysis is for one complete cycle. Newton Repson is also completed for all three. So for the position analysis, um, so first we're going to start off with the graphical. Um, so this is the first position. The open position so we have our given um link lengths so for this one theta 2 is at 60 degrees theta 3 we have 23 degrees and theta 4 was calculated at 94 degrees so continuing on we have our chair at the halfway position theta 2 is at um, 120 degrees and then from our calculations uh graphically we see that theta 3 came out to be 15 degrees and theta 4 is 122 degrees so for the final position the closed position um so we have same given length lengths theta 2 is at 180 degrees theta 3 is at 24 degrees and theta 4 is approximately 150 so we're looking at 149 degrees there and then we're looking at the um the analytical uh, analysis of the position so we have um, pretty much the work down to calculate our a values and then the components to calculate the angles that we're looking for so if you look here we have theta 3 is at 21 21 degrees and then theta 4 is approximately 90 degrees continuing with the newton raphson method we have pretty much a matrix method to calculate the uh, um, given angles. So we have theta 2 given at 60 degrees, theta 3 calculated at 21, and theta 4 is at, again, approximately 90 degrees. Also, for the position analysis, we use a MATLAB code to graph and calculate one complete cycle of theta 2 as theta 3 and theta 4 change. Moving on to the velocity analysis graphical um, at chair open theta 2 equals 60 degrees we get uh, W3 equals negative 0.488 radians per second W4 equals 0.628 radians per second then at chair at halfway which is theta 2 equals 120 degrees um, W3 equals 0 0.0278 and W4 equals 0 0.0357. At chair closed, theta 2 equals 180 degrees. Um, W3 equals 0.542 radians per second. 
and W4 equals 0.696 radians per second. Moving on to the analytical section for the velocity analysis, um, at W2 equals radian, 2 radians per second, and theta 2 equals 60. W3 was negative 0.481 radians per second, and W4 was 0.747. So pretty close to the graphical numbers. Um, using the Newton-Rasfin method, um, W3 was negative 0.481, and W4 was 0.789, which is also pretty spot on to the others. This is the graphical acceleration analysis for position one, the chair being open at theta two at 60 degrees. All of the other values are the same as position and velocity analysis. We chose alpha two to be 1.5 radians per second squared. We use the vector loop method using the radial acceleration to find the tangential acceleration and then found the magnitude of those respective values and found alpha 3 and alpha 4. Alpha 3 is 1.6 radians per second squared and alpha 4 is 2.07 radians per second squared. This is the graphical acceleration analysis for position 2 the chair being halfway open at theta 2 at 120 degrees. The rest of the values are the same as the previous velocity and position analysis values. We calculated alpha 3 at 1.82 radians per second squared and alpha 4 at 0 0.518 radians per second squared given the alpha 2 1.5 radians per second squared using the vector loop method as before. This is the graphical acceleration analysis for position three, the chair being in the closed position where theta two is 180 degrees, the remaining values being the same as the previous graphical analysis. Our alpha two is 1.5 radians per second squared. Our alpha three is calculated to be 5.40 radians per second squared and our alpha four is 7.06 radians per second squared. This is the analytical analysis for acceleration for the entire cycle. The given values remain the same. We calculated the alpha three at 1.413 radians per second squared and alpha four at 2.315 radians per second squared with our given alpha 2 at 1.5 radians per second squared. We use the equations from class to calculate these values and calculate the a through e values to find our alpha 3 and 4. This is the newton raphson acceleration analysis. We use matrices to calculate the alpha 3 and alpha 4. Our alpha 3 that was calculated is 0 0.7997 radians per second squared and our alpha 4 is 2.8099 radians per second squared with our given alpha 2 at 1.5 radians per second squared. Moving on to the comparison uh, for position, comparing the graphical, analytical, and newton raston method. Um, theta 3 all came out pretty close, right around 23, and beta 4 was pretty close to 90 for all three methods. Um, for the velocity comparison at theta 2 and W2 equals 2 radians per second, pretty close. Um, graphical was the only one that was a little off for W4. Moving on to acceleration, um, at theta 2 equals 60 and W2 equals 2 radians per second, along with alpha 2 equals 1.5 radians per second squared. Um, pretty close, little variation between uh, newton raston and the graphical method. Redesign. There are other design options for redesign. Um, there is a chair with a sliding mechanism, and the other has link 3 in a different location on the chair than our design. Yeah, as you can see here, we have the chair assembly, we have link four, link three, pins, link two, which is the seat, 
and then link one, which is the back bar. And then here is an animation that demonstrates how the chair goes from 60 degrees to 180 degrees. Recommendations and improvements. There are no um, improvements that needs to be made to this design. This type of chair has no functional flaws, but there are other design options that can be considered when choosing the best folding chair. Um, here's our resources and thank you for listening.